and they're in the background. What's up, Scorpio? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jose Alfredo This is going to be your weekly reading. I forgot what day of the week it is. I know it is a Wednesday. I don't know the date. Figure that out. <laughs> you take care of that part. I hope you're doing well. Um, I want to get into your messages. Okay, but before I do that, remember please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out the About section right on my YouTube channel and you can get all the information you need, okay, to support. Alright, so let's get into this. Alright, so what do we have here for? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, South Node, right? Any placement that you have of Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Mars, North Node, South Node, any placement. Alright, so your first card, the Eight of Wands. Second card, Five of Wands. Okay, there's going to be something coming towards you very quickly, right? This looks like it's coming from the universe. We know the Wands is all about action, so these are going to be... Uh, you know, new experiences coming your way, right? Communication from people. This could be you needing to take actions and steps. And there's going to be, with the five, right? It looks like you basically choose some of these. Some of these actions, some of this communication, you choose. Some of them you don't take. Some of them you don't accept. Some of them you do, right? And it's going to leave you in a place with the five, which is now you have to clear up the rubble. You see how like there's like like clouds there, right? It looks like dust clouds. These things look like they came in very quickly. They probably landed, hit the floor, you know, and you have to choose. So there's going to be some things you're going to have to choose, Scorpio, coming your way. This is fire energy as well, right? So this is something that is creative. This is something that is a spark, a passion. Right? This is action and steps that you need to take. Okay, what's the next message for Scorpio? Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising. There we go. Oh, all right, Scorpio. This looks beautiful. All right, so remember, Eight of Wands to the Five of Wands, right? Whatever communication is coming your way, whatever action steps that you need to take, even if they create a little bit of uh, confusion, even if it creates a little bit of a delay, right? Even, even if it creates some type of um, conflict, right, if it does, it's going to push you and catapult you into the nine of coins, the nine of pentacles, right? This is going to be you being very stable, very grounded, uh, very successful, right? Because the nine is past the eight where you're continuously working and perfecting, right, on your goals, on yourself. So it's going to put you in a very beautiful place to be in, right? Attracting what you want the most out of life this is you definitely living your life to the fullest enjoying every moment being in tune with your environment and there's a higher calling for you the judgment card okay so with the judgment card this is um there could be something that is going to uh resurrect right um i'm not sure exactly what that could be but there's something for some of you that could be resurrecting for others of you, this could be you understanding that there's a higher purpose, right? A higher calling for you. And it's time for you to step up and to rise to your position. It's time for Scorpio for you to rise, right? Into this energy of the Nine of Coins. This, this independence, this successful independence, right? The security. All right. Let's get one more. Wow. So, Four of Cups. For some of you, there may be some type of offer coming your way that you won't initially feel um, so excited about. You may overlook it, right? So, that's an extra message. Just be mindful of that. Strength card, Leo energy. August is coming. Leo season is on its way. So, some things could be manifesting for you. This tells you balance out that that um, 
the sensitive side of yourself and that strong, courageous side, okay? Have that inner strength to balance yourself out. Seven of Swords, this could be information that's being kept from you, or this could be you needing to just pick up and move on, okay? All right, what's the next message for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, and Rising. There we go, Gemini, the lovers. The lovers, right? A decision, something that you need to choose, you need to make, a choice. That's Gemini's energy. We have Leo energy in here, right? Whoa, whoa, look at that. Ten of Pentacles in that whole stack, but that was a huge, huge message right there. So definitely you will attain the happily ever after, financial abundance, stability, generational wealth, you know, creating a beautiful legacy, home front, garden, all those things, Scorpio. What's the next message for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising. Right? No, no south, no. Three of cups, Scorpio. Three of cups, celebrate. For some of you, there's a decision in love that you will possibly need to make. Right? That's why we have the four of cups over here. Right? Are you going to decide to take the offer that will come your way? Right? This is going to be something that could potentially put you in a position of a new relationship. But someone wants to celebrate with you, Scorpio. Be mindful of that. Right? There are people around you. Maybe not many, but there are a select few. Probably less than a handful. Given the fact that we have three. That want to celebrate with you. Let's get the bottom of the deck. Nine of Cups. This is your second nine on the board. We have the Nine of Coins and the Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. You see? Something beautiful is coming your way, Scorpio. Something that you've been wanting for a very long time. Right? Because the Nine of Cups. Persevering. The Nine is the persevering energy. So just so we see, we have two Nines on the board. Okay? Nine, Nine. And if we add the Six and the Three here, we have another Nine. But we're just going to stick with those nines for right now. You also have two eights on the board. Okay? So two eights, two nines. Very, uh, that's that energy of personal power. Being connected to the universe. Right? Persevering. Something soon will be coming to an end, right? Coming to the end of a journey. Good luck with um, with the eight. Eight is also a number about, um, you know, some financial success, money flow. All right, what do we have here for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, north, no Venus. You see that? Four of cups. Now you have a double four of cups, Scorpio. So this is either you, quite possibly... Um, overlooking a connection quite right now or someone else is overlooking the connection that you want to offer to them okay because in this one look the person's weeping they look very sad because the jugs have spilled over right but there's someone standing by the doorway for this one look this person is just like eyes closed not paying attention but look this this like um, being or entity here that like comes out of the clouds it's trying to offer you something, but you're just like, nope, I don't see it. Maybe I'm taking a nap. Maybe I'm just thinking. Hands crossed, so you're kind of closed off to it. Be open-minded right now to love offers coming your way, Scorpio, right? All right, what do we have here for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, north, north, south, node, and placement for Scorpio, right? What did I say? Lie. Okay, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Scorpio. Sorry about that. Give me just one second. And we have a Nine of Cups here, right? So you go from the Nine to the Ten. Definitely something will be coming your way. Whatever this cup is, and these Four of Cups, that you're quite possibly overlooking, that is the cup that you need. That is the cup, right? That is going to bring you to this Ten of Cups, okay? That's that wish fulfillment that you're asking for. Don't overlook it. See the possibility in it. Because this is divine love, right? With the Ten of Cups. 
This is high emotional maturity. This is really caring deep down, right? This is creating that bond. Page of Wands, a messenger. So fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? This could be communication coming in. That could be passionate. That can be motivating, inspiring to you. This is also you learning something new, okay? Learning a new way to express yourself from a creative aspect, right? From a creative part of yourself. Okay, what's the next one for Scorpio? Sun and Rising and Venus, North and South Node. Any other placement of Scorpio? Ace of Swords. Justice is what it says here. With the Ace of Swords, this, definitely this is new clarity coming your way. With the Ace of Swords, you're going to be um, expressing something new, thinking a new way, right? Having a different perspective. And at the top, Temperance. Sagittarius Energy. Seeing the full scope, seeing the big picture. We have Temperance with Sagittarius. Excuse me. Then we have Leo with Strength. Double Fire Sign Energy. We're going into Leo season. So some of this could be coming towards you right here for summer. We have Gemini energy right here. Right? Healing energy, harmony, balance, transmuting, working with spirit, right? Balancing out your life, the practical and the spiritual. All right, Scorpio. Be ready for this because it's coming your way, right? It comes in fast. But know that you are going to be catapulted into this into this energy because you've done the work, right? I love it. A wish fulfillment. Quite possibly in love. It's time for you to actually go out there and enjoy yourself. And enjoy good company. Right? You're going to learn some new things by doing so. You're going to be expressing yourself in new ways. Right? You're going to see the bigger picture of things, have a better, a clear, a clear understanding also with the Ace and Temperance. I feel like you definitely have a, a, a sense of balance in your energy. Um, it's a little harmonious, right? Maybe not a little, it's just harmonious. And happiness, Ten of Cups, okay? All right, Scorpio, that was your weekly reading. Remember, like, share, comment, and subscribe if this resonates for you. Have a great week, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, Scorpio.